to a question that I think gets to the root of a lot of the anxiety that people uh, have in this country. The economy is undergoing a transformation through informa information technology. And Americans are anxious that the new economy isn't producing higher paying jobs. Many are concerned that the new wealth seems to be going mainly to innovators and investors. Meanwhile, with factories run by robots and shopping done increasingly on smartphones, many traditional jobs are just going away. How do you reassure American workers that their jobs are not being steadily replaced well, you by you know, machines? That, that's an excellent question, because what we are going through in this country is not simply an economic downturn. We are living through a massive economic transformation. I mean, this economy is nothing like what it was like five years ago, not to mention 15 or 20 years ago. And it isn't just a different economy, it's changing faster than ever. You know, it took the telephone 75 years to reach 100 million users. It took Candy Crush one year to reach 100 million users. <laughs> So the world is changing faster than ever, and it is disruptive. Number one, we are in a global competition now, and several of the candidates have said that. There are now dozens of developed economies on this planet that we have to compete with, and we lose that competition because we have the highest business tax rate in the industrialized world, because we have regulations that continue to grow by the billions every single week, because we have a crazy health care law that discourages companies from hiring people but because we're not fully utilizing our energy resources, that if we did, it would bring back all kinds of growth, especially in manufacturing, and because we have an outdated higher education system. Our higher education system is completely outdated. It is too expensive, too hard to access, and it doesn't teach 21st century skills. If we do what needs to be done, tax reform, regulatory reform, fully utilize our energy resources, repeal and replace Obamacare, and modernize higher education, then we can grasp the potential and the promise of this new economy. And we won't just save the American dream, we will expand it to reach more people and change more lives than ever before. And then truly, this new century can be a new American century. Thank you.